name's Fran and I'm resident harpist at Pilgrim Harps. I started there about five years ago um, and I they re <laughs> I eventually um, they eventually relented giving me a job after a lot of nagging and it, I have been so happy because I love, love, love their harps. Um, there's loads of reasons why I love Pilgrim harps. One is the sound. The sound of the harps are absolutely gorgeous. Um, hi. Um, oh, good. We've got people now. Brilliant. I'm going to keep rambling while we get a couple more people. Um, but today I'm going to be showcasing um, some of the wave collection. I'm just going to be playing acoustically because in this room it's quite quite loud anyway. Um, but the wave collection of Pilgrim Harps, and this is an Aubra wave, it's my Aubra wave, and it's absolutely brilliant. It's got a really small jack, which means if you um, play in a gig, it's not sticking out and it doesn't look too electric. So you've still got that classic harp look, but it still sounds amazing. So I'm going to kick off with a pretty traditional um, wedding piece, a thousand years, so you can really hear why I love it so much. <laughs>
that was a thousand years and it's quite a popular one for my weddings um i'm gonna play one of my favorite pieces i've ever been asked to cover um and that's paradise by coldplay i love the bass in this and i really think it sells itself to this giant harp um i'm saying giant harp it's 47 strings but it is so light you can pop it in the car really easily um it's nice and thin mine's a wave as i said before so you can make it electroacoustic so you really don't need um the extra soundboard um if you don't want it to and you want to have a little bit more of a compact harp um but i absolutely love it so this is paradise by coldplay So as you can see, you really don't need the amp. I love that one. 
Um, oh, hello everybody! Oh, there's look. Hi, Rosie. Oh, Rosie's here. So, um, Rosie's going to be next up after me. She's at five GMT time. She's all the way from America, so I think it's about eight AM where she is at the moment. So, thank you for waking up, Rosie. Um, I'm now going to move on to some film music because what better to use an electric harp for than for recording some music so this is from one of my dad's favorite films the last of the mohicans and it's quite a popular wedding one too so two birds one stone There you go so a little bit of music movie music there um if you do have any questions about pilgrim harps or harps in general or being a harpist or learning harp do write to me i'll try try and answer as i'm as i'm going um otherwise i'll just keep playing so 
This is from a wedding that I played a few years ago, um, Kevin Michelle's wedding, and it's called Life from Iron Aldi. It's one of the ones that aren't quite as known and it's not quite as used, um, and I really, really love it. So I hope you like this too. It's really resident and beautiful.
I really like that one. Okay, so I'm going to swap hearts now because you've heard the Aubra and I'm going to showcase you the um, Skylark wave now. So it's a lever harp rather than a pedal harp. If you've got any questions about levers or pedals, do comment and I'll try and answer it after or during, um, depending on how my live works. And hopefully it'll look right in the image that I've got up now. Luckily, they also, these big harps have gorgeously um, positioned wheels at the front of the harp, making them really easy to move. So this is a lever harp. And instead of having pedals at the bottom, you have pedals at the top. And these are traditionally used for folk music. So I'm going to show you a couple of folk tunes now. Moving through a couple of my favorites and I hope you enjoy them.
love that last one. And Meredith uh, McCrindle, who did a concert earlier, she was at one o'clock, so you can look back on YouTube at any of the previous concerts, taught me that one in Edinburgh. Um, and the other two I got, I was, I, I was found, um, I found, people found me and taught that to, taught them to me. So, so I've lost the ability to speak now. I've gone into harp world. So my last piece for today is going to be one of my favourites. It's called Pompeii. Um, it is a pop, pop piece and playable on lever harp. Um, and I, even though this isn't an electric, electroacoustic harp, I'm still playing um, acoustically. So it really is. You've got a lot of them, even in the little harps with pilgrims, which is why I love them. Okay, so this is the last thing. I don't think I've got any questions. No, just hello, everybody. <laughs> um, we've got Pompeii. Hope you enjoy it. Oop. Just locked my finger in to my stool. Right, be fine. Last piece. Right. <laughs> slightly shortened version there so I don't bleed all over my heart <laughs> um thank you so much for watching um there are, if you haven't caught the rest of today there's been loads and loads of concerts throughout the day which were just truly awesome Meredith did Disney theme there was a harp trio at three they're all watchable on YouTube so do click back this one and Rosie's, the both the lives, will also be um, put on YouTube so you can watch back um, tomorrow. And there will be, at the end of the day at six, a look back on open days from the past. So people like Shelley Fairplay, Alexander Ryder, loads of people um, are featured on that video too. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you to all the harpists for being, for being involved. It is quite weird. This is my first time on live seeing you all there but not seeing you. So thank you so much for being here and have a lovely day and I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye! <laughs>